Okay, well the multi-rotor build is on in earnest now. I've fitted one of the Tiger Motor MN3110 Navigator Series motors to an arm. These arms are the Aimdroix extended aluminium arms from ReadyMade RC. Just to show you the difference, these are the stock plastic arms that you get. I haven't even bothered taking out of the pack. And the, uh, these extended arms are 50 millimeters longer or two inches longer. So basically, converts a, a full 50 quad into a, a 550 quad. Motors have been attached. Um, I also have the, uh, the Tiger Motor S25A uh, ESCs. These come uh, pre-flashed with the Simon K firmware on them. And they fit really nice and snugly inside these uh, arms there. Probably, it takes a bit of force to push them out. So I may not even need some cable ties or um, or anything to hold them in there. We'll see how he goes with that. As you can see, we have quite a lot of excess wire, motor wire coming off. So uh, I'll be off to trim those off. Put some new uh, bullet connectors on there. Just to keep it all nice and neat. Probably won't even need cable ties to keep the uh, motor wiring there because it just threaded in like in, in between the arms. It, uh, it's quite neat as it is. And one thing you might notice on these on the uh, arms, I've actually added eight millimeter spacers. These are M two point five spacers. They've got the uh, the male thread at one end and the uh, M two point five female thread at the other end. Now the reason I'm using these is because I want to get a little bit more space between the uh, the boards here. I did actually purchase some of the uh, Androix spacers, but they weren't quite enough, so I went for the eight mil ones. And in doing that, that means I can actually fit the Wukong main controller uh, in the board, like in, in between like that, uh, vertically orientated. So the uh, initial management unit will uh, be at the front there, and the receiver will actually be, uh, will actually sit up like that, so we can uh, get to these solder pads, no worries. So with these eight millimeter spacers, we put a ruler across it, you can see the, uh, the main controller just fits in nicely. One other thing I'd like to show you are the Tiger Motor carbon fibre propellers and how they mount directly to the Navigator series motors. So I've got a set of 12 by 4 carbon fibre propellers here. They come with the bushes, which are copper, not cheap nasty plastic things, the, uh, the screws and the end caps. So what we're going to do, oh, and they, uh, the, hole in, the central hole in the middle there is 6 millimetres whereas the motors have a four millimeter shaft. So we'll put the four millimeter bush on. It simply goes on like that. We'd line up the holes. And simply screw on the cover plate. I'm only gonna do these up hand tight for the purpose of the demonstration, like so. So there you go, really nice and neat. No need for a prop adapter. Tiger Motor stuff's not cheap, but it is pretty good quality. Don't need the propellers on for quite some time. Got a lot of building and testing to do, so we'll get these off and get on with the build.